Hiya, fellas, if you'll excuse me. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to share some more enthusiasm with you now. Some more enthusiasm with you. Um, do you remember the last video where I was talking about Curiosity Killed the Cat? Well, this video is going to be about Redbone and specifically about, well, you know, kind of specifically about the Witch Queen of New Orleans from the record of the same name, the Witch Queen of New Orleans by Redbone. And, uh, now, considering considering the work that I uh, the work that I accomplished with the Curiosity Killed the Cat video previously, this one is going to be somewhat more cluttered, imprecise, thrown together, and not really well researched, not researched to the same extent. So really, these are just kind of like cluttered, disorganized observations about my first impressions of my experiences of the Witch Queen of New Orleans and Redbone. <sighs> Now, um, there's lots of different ways I want to I want to come at come at this uh, issue this issue and this theme today, but um, primarily or firstly firstly, um, we'll talk about the Witch Queen of New Orleans by Redbone. So I'm in I'm in I'm in work again. I'm talking about work again. The, the main thing that makes these that makes these um, musical experiences provides such a power to these musical experiences is I'm in the office in work you know I'm in the office and then the warehouse in work and the music is coming out from out yonder in the in the uh, the larger expanse of the warehouse and uh, it reverberates brilliantly and wonderfully and beautifully uh, the bass is amplified you know there are corrugated there are corrugated metal shutters which I think help with the reverberation and help with the amplification of the bass and it's got really good subwoofer function on the speakers and um yes uh, sorry i'm just getting uh, notifications on twitch there even though um, i'm not doing anything on twitch and this song comes on and it's the witch queen of new orleans by redbone and it's like uh i hate the term grooving but it's really hard gro hard grooving tune driving rhythmic grooving tune and it just sounds so good it sounds so infectious i really really love that tune and i immediately stand up i go over to the radio and i say who is that red bone witch queen of new orleans so i make a note on my phone and uh yeah as i said i didn't do as much research as i didn't research as uh you know make much of a concerted effort to research red bone or anything but when I've searched for them on um, Spotify, I saw that another one of those standout songs is Come and Get Your Lovin', which is on the Guard Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, when Star-Lord, he goes into that, right at the start of the film, Star-Lord, the Chris Pratt character, he's got his Walkman on, he presses play on his tape, and then Redbone kicks in, Come and Get Your Lovin', hey, hey. What's the matter with you? Hey, you know, and it's really brilliant. The cinematography, the way that the title comes on screen, the, the it's all driven by the Redbone song. You know, it's like the the Redbone song is doing all the heavy lift. No, it's not doing all the heavy lifting, but it's really it really is shining and making that scene so much better than it would have been with the contemporary music. You know, with contemporary music. Uh, Redbone, and I didn't know that that was Redbone. I didn't, I didn't know that that was Redbone. I learned after the fact that that was Redbone. I'm sorry if I'm losing you. If this isn't interesting, I'm, I am sorry if I'm losing you. And if this isn't interesting for you, but bear with me and stay with me if you, if you, if you're interested. So, I've known from prior research that that's Redbone on Guardians of the Galaxy. Come and get your loving, and then I've learned subsequently that. The Witch Queen of New Orleans from a different record is also by Redbone and it's a different sound, it's a different sound. <clears throat> um, what's the, the groove is like... It's something like that and... 
the bass is just like that, and the bassist is a singer. only in like two key two keys <clears throat> and uh, I will link I will link um, I will link I'll post two links I'll post a record link which will be one of those kind of underwhelming still videos where you just hear audio and you look at a still image and I will also post a video that I found of them playing a live performance and the live performance was fascinating because they're all dressed like Native American Indians and they even some of them personnel look like Native American Indians. You get visions of um, the chief from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. One of them looks like him, except he's like average height instead of uh, extraordinarily tall. And they're all wearing like um, those leather leather garments with the tassels from the Wild West or whatever. And the electric guitarist is playing the guitar with a bow. You know, like a Jimmy Page style, right at the start of the song. Um, it's a fantastic tune. Um, I'll link I'll link it in the uh, description. I don't know anything about Redbone. I know that they featured at, right at the start of Guardians of the Galaxy, and it's a standout moment. But the Witch Queen of New Orleans should not be overlooked. It's fantastic. I'll link it in the description. I recommend it to you. And uh, another thing is, this is all new music to me. Um, I, I, I've often said, even music, music from decades ago, and perhaps even centuries ago, is still fresh and new to me. And the contemporary music is uh, the contemporary music is still like in a in a trial period for me, and it's it's not exciting. It's too new. It's too new, and it. Uh, it it just uh, smacks too much of the corporate present moment and I prefer music that has had time to found and almost disappear and uh, thanks for joining me so imp so impressive wasn't it it was so impressive wasn't it thanks for joining me <laughs>